Okay, good. Now, don't tell them. But Ben, now, bye. um, so wait, hold on. Let's do the intro. This episode, we will answer the following questions: What is Jeremy Clarkson's middle name? What did Richard? Oh, that's the dude from, from Anchorman, right? <laughs> Anyway, and and James May, the the. So Enigma I'm assuming I'm wrong. The Enigma of James May. Yeah. We'll be answering these questions today on the Honest and Force podcast. No, seriously, is isn't that isn't that the dude in the Anchorman or episode two thousand ninety six? Okay, so. What? Uh, you sound so disoriented. No, Will Ferrell was. Not Jeremy Clark. Well, I am drunk, so. <laughs> That's no excuse. <laughs> That's good. I think it's a perfectly good. Okay, no, I actually, opinion. okay, no, no. You know what? I actually agree with you. That's one of my my weird opinions. But I feel like things you do while drunk, it should be tried lesser. Like drink driving, you don't intend to murder that person. You're drunk, right? Cool. You get me? Yeah, see. I wonder what you think about high people. Uh, high people are scum. They are responsible for every of their actions. Saints? Nope. <laughs> Not saints. That's wonderful. Do you think saints really so much? <laughs> Just smoking fat racers. <laughs> Arjun, you were born in Western. No, you weren't born in Western Sydney. You you grew up in Western Sydney. How have you not smoked a bong? Because you hung around the cool kids. No, the uncool kids. Sorry. I am basically the rags to riches story. Have you haven't gone to riches yet. Basically. Basically, I'm a thing. kid from the ghetto, <laughs> where, where I'm surrounded by drug clans, and I don't submit. That's all it is. You did take bribes, though. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, don. Are you calling me a liar? They're called donations. Donations, well, dona- donations often do not have, you know, missing seven fingers attached. Ah, oh, you would have loved the Batman then. There were missing fingers in that movie. I, Archie, I don't like movies if they feature missing fingers. That's not one of my key traits. And that's why you like boring movies. Like what? Name your most favorite movie. And I'll oh, tell you my right honest now, opinion right on now. it. Oh, shoot, I'm trying to think what movie I would watch any day of the week. Zootropolis, yes. What? what? Zootopia, the new name of Zootopolis. Oh, no. Zootopolis. Uh, <laughs> Even I was confused. So basically, about rip off Madagascar. You you watched that movie with the weirdest takeaway. Anyway, my my other favorite movie would probably was be it be not just Madagascar? Anyway, my other favorite movie would actually be Death I of Stalin. Don't recall there being humans. Zootopia. It's quite funny. Yeah, Death of Stalin is my favorite movie so far this year. Yeah, I, I would watch okay, that. No, give me another thing. I don't know enough. I've never watched the movie. Give, me, really... give me another one. I really like um, Wally. Wally was cool. By Pixar. Wally was just Pixar's version of trying to get into the Transformers hype. <laughs> Why didn't they get Michael Bay to direct it? Because Michael Bay only does real things. Like Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Armageddon. <laughs> Christ. Oh god. Arjun, help. What is this? Ah, that one! Jesus Christ, stop. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Arjun, tell me your favorite movie and I'll give you my bloody thoughts on this. Oh, that's a hard question. What's this? I, I, I gave you a question. Oh, 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 oh. Name your favorite I'm movie. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, okay, keep thinking. In the meantime, I'm gonna ask work the same question. Work. Name your favorite movie and I, I'll give you my thoughts on this. I. Don't know. I'll probably, say Death of Stalin. I'll probably say Death Stole my answer. Uh, okay, good choice. Death Second would be there. Knives Out. Oh, Knives Out was cool. I, 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 I walked just, off. You're an idiot. Anyway, oh. Knives Out, I uh, wish I would remember more from it. I just remember... Knives Out was a fun movie. It was good. I think it was robbed, honestly. By who? By, by the Nazis? It, it should have silly. gotten Oscars. At least, a, like, at least an Oscar. I don't think but it did. Didn't. Didn't earn with. And I, I think Joker got it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, my favorite movie uh, is. I think I'd listen. 
On top, the Academy is the most Doctor brain dead Strange people does. I've met in my life. Doctor Strange. I mean, I've never met them, but I learned to love the Bombers Fight Night. Uh, what did you say? Suicide Squad. No, Doctor Strange Love and and or how le- how um learn to love the bomb was really nice. What are you talking about? It's an old movie. I watched it. No. Okay. Oh wait, you want to know my favorite movie? Right? Yeah, your favorite movie. What is this? Uh, I'm impressed you're alive, boy. By the way. So it's gonna be like a movie Any that movie. I matter. I would watch no matter what time. Yeah, kind of, day. Or, or just that yeah. even if you're upset, you can still enjoy the movie, or it, you you think about it. A bit more than you do other movies. Stuff like that. Probably. It's not even a joke, Mr. Bean's Holiday. <laughs> that is a good choice. Oh, yeah, one... I've watched that movie so many because... times. <laughs> Christ, why well, sound fell. Oh, no. Like, it's, it's by no means <laughs> For the power a masterpiece. Greedy. But no! I like it. You go greedy. <laughs> How did you die twice? I got greedy. Oh, no, collected the power. I got greedy. Oh no! Fuck. Like you got, you got, you got out of luck. I kind of want to do Simon Says because Arjun's really funny at that game. Fine. <laughs> okay, remember to slash lobby. Oh wait, is that that weird crafting game? No. <laughs> the one where I had to make like an axe and I made a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one. Yes. That's the one. You did, totally. You like that game, don't you, Arjun? I oh. think Colors is the most fun game. But I think my most favorite game on this server was Paintball. Was. I used to come in every day after school. Christ. But now, do you know what they've done? They've ruined that game. Wow. Now you can buy nukes. You can buy bombs. What the hell is all that? Classic? There could be paintball classic. I don't know. Like, look. It's miserable, man. It's like they spat on my childhood. Who'd say? I like that high pixel is basically just this faceless entity to me. <laughs> who is a faceless? High pixel. The company that runs high pixel. How much pixel. money do you think they make? Their turnover, I think. Let's let's put it. Out. I don't think it's a million dollars. No way. I think it's a million dollars. Yeah, sure. What with one-off payments? I doubt. No, oranges are recurring payments. Again, orange not uh, color. I don't know. That's a recurring payment. I don't know. I think it's like maybe. How much staff yeah, do you maybe. think you need to employ to do high pixel? Not a lot, mate. Bro, I hate this. Why? I think I was do the slowest possible combination. Came third. <laughs> Put well, leather no, helmet. Good job, Arjun. Oh. Knock back to wooden uh, sword. Back. Uh, seven. Place. Repair diamond helmet to full durability. Diamond helmet to full durability. How do you do that? <laughs> diamond with <laughs> di- helmet with diamond sword of material inside okay. the anvil. Smelt gold or no. Alright, that's easy. Oh man, I'm dumb. Uh, no, what <laughs> Do you know why? Why? I put it in and I didn't put any coal. <laughs> <laughs> These are the bloody fast. Enchant a diamond back. Oh no. Bro, that's unfair. They I don't get their experience when they throw No, no, hey, you do, you do. Well that's how I want I didn't get anything. Cure chicken. No, you kill my chicken. Get in the bed. Jesus Christ! I was playing right clicking so much. What's annoying me is that we had two people. I don't like this game. I don't like this game. I'm well, gonna say it's about people who know too much about this game. That's basically all the games. Oh, you had to eat what? it. I just said, just milked it, and I was like, yeah, I'm boss. How did he go? He go, man. He go. You didn't get this yet. Easy. Build an iron goal. None of you assholes better intrude on mine again. <laughs> that happened to me. I know, they, 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 they wait for you to finish making it and they... Oh, look at it, sorry. Wait, wooden plank, right? Not yeah. oak tree. That's still hard to... Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I failed the game. Anyway. 
<laughs> you are doing exactly everything. The game is asking you. Oh wait! <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. You know what I did? I pressed Q. <laughs> I don't want to play this game. I'm not playing this game. Is it too traumatic? Too, I'm too bad at this game to play this game. But okay, I like this game though. You can play quite relaxed, aside from me yelling, "Oh God, no!" Hey, Arjun. What? So, so your favorite movie is Mr. Bean goes to school or something? Uh, you want to explain what? Okay, if you want like a another one, no, I can no, think that's of another a good movie, one. Nate. That's a good movie. I'm, I'm not. I'm, not I'm getting movie. a drink. I'll be back. No, you're not. I'm gonna stop. You. But so I won't carry me iPad with me. Yeah. Okay, Arjun. What are your thoughts? Sorry, sorry. We're gonna go back to what do Arjun think? <laughs> Play the what do Ar what does Arjun think? Jingo, Jingo, sorry, Jingo. <laughs> Okay, so now that that's been inserted in editing... Only um, one of the greatest political minds of the century. <laughs> Rowan Atkinson or Mr. Bean? Me! Me, you are, okay. <laughs> and my question to you is, what, do you, what are your thoughts on caterpillars? Sorry, uh, on bulldozers made by cat, C-A-T, caterpillars. They're all the monopoly on that, I've never seen another I brand. have never seen another! Yeah. Wait, did they even make the military bulldozers that the Israeli Defense Force uses? I don't know. No, that oh, probably okay. goes to some. I have no idea who else makes movies. Now that I think about it, JCB. JCB doesn't exist. It's a conspiracy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I I can't. I don't. I can't think of any from the top of my head. So that's your thoughts on 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 bulldozers. Okay, so we'll move to the second item of on the. Agenda. I mean, monopolies are always great. Uh, well, well, there's economics arguments against them. Uh. Next it's our economic facility. It's always great when one you know, party has full control over a yeah. sector of the market. Right, there's so times that they when you want a monopoly, and there's times when you don't want a monopoly, is all I'm going to say. Um, so I have, the next part is, Arjun, what do you force some people who go to a swimming pool but do not actually swim? The hell, there are people like that? Yeah. Maybe. What what did they go there then for? I don't look know, to make sure that the child is not drowning. Who knows? I don't judge. Me. Oh, okay. Then that's a legit... I, you know what? I'm that that makes more sense than whatever I immediately What were thought. you imagining? I'm curious. I was thinking of leeches. Or like perts. I don't know. Perts? What? Perverts. I don't know. Oh, perverts. Well, fine. Why do you think perverts like, to go to... Dirty and... Wait, know. wait. Would, would the perverting be fine if they swim as well? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I don't okay. understand how how that works. Okay. How about how about elderly people who want to make friends at the swimming pool? Do you, you want them? The elderly people who do not swim, but want to. They make can't friends. swim. I think that would be a leading cause of death for them. You are not swimming. I diagnose you. No with swimming. No swimming. Okay. I diagnose swimming. you with lack of swimming. Cows <laughs> <laughs> is water over his brain. <laughs> Like, what are your thoughts on people go to swimming pools but they don't actually swim? Christ, Jesus. Well, they... Maybe they like the smell of the chlorine. Maybe they do. You know what? I'm, that's what I'm going to do next week. Oh, it's quite long Smell chlorine? Yeah, half it, mate. Oh, well, technically, the smell isn't from the chlorine. It's from the bacteria reacting to chlorine, I think. No more technicalities. No. Uh, <laughs> you are the best type of correct, technically. <laughs> We've gone four. No. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. we'll move to the next topic. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm gonna strip that from the record, and we'll move to the next next topic. Why are your thoughts on obelisks? Just obelisks in general. What is an obelisk? Ob oh, like, like the Egyptian artifacts? <laughs> no. We'll go to work. First. Then I don't know what you're on about. We'll go to work first, just to give Arjun a, a hand. Uh, what, what's it? Obelisks. What are your thoughts Obelisks. on obelisks? Um, they're often very tall. <laughs> Those are not your thoughts. They are Egyptian! What do you want about? They are Egyptian They're not artifacts. exclusively of Egyptian. I'm pretty sure they're imitating Egyptian. Um... All of them? Including the cultures that don't believe in Egypt? What? Egypt is a country. You can't not believe in it. No, you cannot recognize it. Oh, only in a world, only in your world is that understandable. Isn't obelisk made by the Greeks, not by the Egyptians? 
I'm pretty sure it's the Egyptians. You're making things up, mate. Oh, no. I haven't given enough thought to obelisks. Well, you should start now. Isn't, isn't the Washington Monument an obelisk? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, sir. That's but this is not a... named famous obelisk, so screw you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our the next Washington series. Monument? Yeah. Yes, the, the, the big, tall, yeah. ugly fella. Oh, wait, oh, oh, wait, segment break. It's, we are now up to name famous obelisks. <laughs> Let's go, lightning round, go. Washington Monument. Ding. Me done. I'm gonna go to the Wikipedia list of ob obelisks. Hey, I technically said that first. Can can that count as a double point? <laughs> it wasn't your turn, though. I don't know anything about any other famous <laughs> ones. True words have never been spoken. I have here the list of Egyptian obelisks, so I'm just gonna steal from this list. My answer is the unfinished obelisk. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh. Oh no. He died? Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jordan has died. I jumped way too early. Dark green. That's dark green. Ah, what oh the hell? my goodness. The thing, the thing despawned under my leg. Uh, my other favorite obelisk is the flim. Time. No, I'm dead. Good job. Uh, good game, kid. Oh, that was oh, it. That was, you that was you it. last quite long in these games, Mr. Okay, so I'll. Oh, oh, the, ob well, the name that famous obelisk round has ended. We'll go back to Arjun Fort. There's one in Greece. There are, there are numerous in and Greece. I think there's one in Japan, too. There are probably one in Japan, but those are probably... The one in Japan probably... And I'm pretty... I remember there was, like, some wild story. It uh, was, like, given to them by the Holy Roman Empire or something. In Japan? Yeah, no, the USSR, sorry. Oh. Oh, okay, they were cool. allies, right, at one point? Pan and USSR are not really. They hate each other. Mm, they no. really hated each other. The only no. time they were allies were during the Boxer Rebellion. Dude, I swear. Look at no, up. There, there was like, an unholy alliance. Stalin gave it as a gift. That may be true. Because there was an unholy alliance between, like, like was it Imperial Germany, USA, UK, Imperial Japan, and Russia against the Chinese. There was an unholy alliance. Yeah. So that's probably true. That's probably true. Um... However, this doesn't match the time frame since it's Stalin, but still. Uh, okay, we'll go back to the no, next question. It was recovered from like a Roman city. That's cool. I, I can see that, yeah. Um, so, next question. What are you guys' thoughts on Monte Carlo? So, I'll go first. I think it's a great name for a cat. Like, like you know, you just Isn't go that Monte Carlo. The name of a liquor? Monte Carlo? Probably. I, I'm thinking about the location, though. It was not. Is it not a location first and foremost? How did three people die? Can't see color. <laughs> they can't see black. <laughs> that can happen. They... That's not color blindness. That's <laughs> that's blind. Yeah. Christ. What is this? What if someone, like a friend, tells them about this game, then they really want to play it, then they play it, then they realize they're color blind. <laughs> They realize at that point they've been alive for forty six years. They just got back from 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 you know painting something, and then they realize they're color blind. Yeah, right. that can happen though. Uh, anyway, so like, what are your thoughts on Monte Carlo, the place, the liquor, or whatever the hell you want? Uh, the place, uh, in Monaco. It's yes, correct. Got a good Formula One race. It's a bit boring oh, yeah. sometimes. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it's a liquor. I think it's. I just thought of Monaco bread. Good guess. Arden, what are your thoughts on, Mon on Monte Carlo? I don't know enough about it. Okay, you want me to give you some information about it? It's got it? a principality. It's in the principality. Oh. No, you don't? Okay, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go back. Uh, do you just think it's a fun word to say, though? Monte Carlo. No, it's not this one. It's... Oh! <laughs> I... Bro, I swear I placed that and it was Oh, right, you're good. You're good yeah. and you're one of four. I know you. I like that you try and save us, but no. <laughs> but I placed it, and it was the same color. Did you place it, William? No, but I trusted the my belief. I did. I can see dead people's chat. <laughs> yep. Uh, now I have here a letter from someone from Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. I think pirates are cool. Is it the Crown Prince? <laughs> His Serene Highness. It is. It is labeled under anonymous, but spelled mm. wrong. So they say. Yeah, understood thoughts. I'm a big fan. That's obviously a lie. <laughs> I wanted to ask, what are your ages? 
Okay. Uh, Wait, who said that? Anonymous from Monte Carlo. So. Okay, so you. Anyway, so I'm 36 years old. I'm turning 38 next week. I think Warwick is a bit younger than me. He's like 32 or something. And, and Big Shot Arjun, he's... Right. Big Shot Arjun's like 52, but his hair's still black. I'm not 52. <laughs> so your I'm hair's 524. <laughs> Are you are you using like the Jewish calendar or something? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing to get that number? No. I've been alive for that long. Who who was the king of England when you were when you, when you were born? Back in my days, England was just a small thing no one cared about. Five hundred years ago, England was just a small thing no one cared about. Fair, fair. You were born in India, so fair enough. But uh, okay. Who was your local Maharaj? Don't you dare say what? King Mahmood or something. Did you? Oh, um, it was the... The Earl oh, of Wine. Me. You were the Mah- Maharaj. Or Mah- Maharaja, sorry. Maharaja. I'm pretty sure they're called Shahs. Are you in a Muslim area? But or didn't Canada they Canada. rule India for a certain amount of time? The... Probably. I don't know. And I'm pretty it. sure that's the time we're talking about. 500 years ago. Yeah. I want to be clear. You, you know 500 years ago is the 16th. And not to mention, India isn't just one unified place. I it know. was different kingdoms. I know. That's why I said which Maharaj were you under? Yeah, so I said Shah, which is like the Delhi areas, which is now the capital city. Okay. Sure. Totally. Uh... Fine, then. You tell me. Yeah, like I was Back in um, I'm Vietnam ah, 500 I'm years ago, who was the king? Oh, Tai. That's King McShawnee. King McShawnee. He was That's king in absentia. True. He was king in absentia. Hold on, in 1600, England did visit India. Would you just say the unvisited parts? No, I just said there's something that no one cared about. So when the English step foot, you see white people for the first time, you're just like, I don't care about these people, and you just walked away. I don't see colour. <laughs> How are you doing well at this game? Oh wait, you're not. Anyway. No, I meant in terms of race. <laughs> okay. See? Yes, so... So did you did... So what did you... Okay, so... so, so you, you judge. So you saw the English soldiers for the first time. What did, what did you say to them in, in English, I presume? I didn't say English. What language did you speak at the time? I language. made up my own. You made up your own. Did it have? Yeah. Was it the language you? Le- was it the first language you bought? Were you learned when you were a young child? Who absorbed information? No. No. I you... taught people. <laughs> who taught? I made you? it the national language. They were of which of which kingdom in India? The, the third one. one. The third one. Okay, good. I know. I know the third one. Uh. Then okay. speak my language. <laughs> I don't know the language, Arjun. If I try, you just accuse me of racism. No, I'm not. I just said you said you since you know so much. I, Arjun, I can tell you a lot about dogs, but I am not a dog. <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about that racist comment. Jesus Christ. Wait, who's editing this? Me. I'm one. Me, I'm oh one. no, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, you don't see colour. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to laugh too much though. I did make the mistake as well, so I got lucky. But, uh, Christ. Did you, did you meet, um... Wait, when you were alive, the Holy Roman Empire was still existing, I think. Did you meet any of them? We're nowhere near each other. Yeah, but you were alive in the same time. You could, you know, text each other or something. No, I can't. Oh no, that attitude. He used to be a bit ahead. I don't believe in Twitter. I'm a Telegram user all the way through. <laughs> Even 500 years ago? Yeah. No, oh, I don't right. use the original Telegrams. <laughs> Anyway, that's is that our full reply to the mystery, to the anonymous writer from Monte Carlo? <laughs> this yes. whole diatribe, okay. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll put that to paper. So our next topic. What are your thoughts on fox hunting? Should we should go it? act in a play. I intend on doing that before I die. We should go to a theatre. And then roll for like, I don't know. For some old play. Right. Like Shakespeare or Hamlet. Shakespeare, the Hamlet Macbeth medley. No, I don't want to sing. I will sing, no. Uh, Christ. Arjun, oh, musicals are fun. You you don't you don't you don't. Play. I don't like musicals. Musicals don't like I, you. I I think musicals are the most boring form of entertainment. And not operas, which tend to be five to six hours long. What's the difference? God damn. Musicals are shorter. <laughs> that was that was useless. That's all. That power up. A musical is also entertaining. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Color. Oh, it's my color. No, it isn't. No, even High School Musical is boring. I sing Les Mis. It's funny as hell. No, it isn't. No, it's funny when you. It's about a it. bunch of poor people. And what's funny about That's that? That's funny because you have people going like, "I stole a loaf of bread," and then, and then you reply, "I'm not oh, funny." There. That's funny as hell, mate. Oh, funny. I take crimes very serious. No, I missed the job. Arjun, do you take crimes? Seriously? Is that like a child complaining about something? <laughs> yeah, mommy, mommy, why won't I get the job? No. I just, I just don't know, man. I think it's the most boring. I, I the movie your... is, the <laughs> movie I couldn't even get past. The movie is now. silly. Is I'm gonna say it's silly, and I love it. That's why I love it. No, I think, I think it's stupid. It's silly. I think the story is boring. <laughs> no matter <laughs> what form you, go. no matter what oh, form that wasn't you consume right it in. It's boring. How about in pill form? How about lame is in pill form, Arjun? Is it boring, I think, I think I think it's boring. I think, you know... Yeah, yeah. what to well, say. Arjun, it's just we boring. don't bring you on on this panel just for you to be correct, so good on you. So, <laughs> on to the next topic. I would much know. rather watch The Book Thief again. The book. What? I didn't like that movie either. What are you talking about? The Book Thief forget? What the hell is that? The Book... You don't know that movie, Book Thief? Book Burn? What's it called? I, I had to say at some point... The I think it's Book Thief, right? I prefer Nicholas like, Cage goes sounds, insane. I think I've heard something like No, it's about the... You know, back when they used to burn books. Uh, the Nazis, I think. Okay. Fair enough. Right? That's what happened, right? They burned books. Yeah, yeah, they did that. Yeah. We're gonna ignore that. Next, yeah. next topic. And what, then she what are your thoughts? Like, what are your thoughts on the, the on the long-running sitcom that has ended? Uh, How I Met Your Mother. I watched the full thing like three years back. I literally only remember the ads where they try to uh, take pictures of the person Neil Patrick Harris acted as to try to get. That's the one with Charlie thing. Sheen, right? But <laughs> no, they would always fail. Okay. They would always get a good picture of. Yeah, that. I, That's I, I know what everything I, I know what everything is. I watched it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what are your thoughts on How I Met Your Mother? Yeah, it's the one with Charlie Sheen where he's gay. That's two and a half men. But anyway, that's your thought on how I met your mother. Anyway, me. So I've I never watched it. Watched... I have never watched him one. So I, 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 I only just recently started watched like one episode of The Big Bang Theory. I'm so sorry. And I didn't like it. So I watched how I watched the full How I Met Your Mother. Um, but I will say something. I I, I watched a couple of sitcoms like Office and everything. Yeah. I realized. The pilots and the second season are always the best. After that, it goes down horribly. Sometimes the final season is really lo- good. Sometimes. I don't think so. I think, I think everything after the second season of a sitcom just dies. Simpsons it doesn't become funny. Has been quite- you are only sticking around because you've committed for so oh, no, long. The Simpsons was quite good for a couple of seasons. I don't know. I disagree. Jesus Christ. Again, it's good. We don't bring you on to be correct. We bring you on to be wrong. So thank you for fulfilling the criteria. <laughs> oh, some person was accidentally jumped off. I saw that. We'll move to the next topic on the battlefield. Oh my god. What are your thoughts on the Vickers Wildebeest? Yep, that's the question. Someone's just jumped off on their own court. We're gonna go to work first. What's your thoughts on the Vickers? I like Vickers? House. I've never heard of that before. 
You know, like I, I think know. House is a great show. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but the Have you watched the House? Wildebeest? Is it like a boxing match? No, mate. I, I sent you on the train. It's, it's a biplane that was used in World War Two. Oh. Oh yeah. Um, it's a plane. It's good. Okay. It was notoriously shit against the Japanese plane, so given that this is a biplane, and the Japanese plane had one wing and an enclosed canopy, but... Oh. Hey. Well, you aren't expect to win! Okay, yeah. I... Uh... Oh, it's also known as... There was a very... Oh, good. Arden, you used to do... You used to do well at this game, mate. <laughs> you need to stop drinking on the booze, mate. I will ask Arden now. What are your thoughts on the victim's deal to be? What a what a nuanced Sorry. opinion. So I'm gonna ignore all that my turn. No, you ignored me. All right. <laughs> you asked me for my most favorite sitcom, even though it's not a sitcom. You said House. Yeah. And I'll accept that. That's a good answer. I like House. Yeah, House is fun. Answer. Good answer. You think I take issue with House? You you, you mistaken. I that. wish. I could have a job like House, and that doesn't mean a doctor. I wish I could just break yeah. every law. You know, you know, even the worst doctor, well, the person who yeah. graduates from medical school yeah. is still a bad doctor. They can still be bad doctors. No, 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 no. Like, have you watched the show? Or no. at least a couple episodes? No. Oh, He's no. essentially a doctor who's so depressed and so, like, I don't know. He doesn't believe in hope, love, puppies. He's a nihilist. And like, and he like, what do you say? He will like not lie to anyone. He'll tell the total truth. Like if he finds out okay. that his patient is cheating on his wife, he will go straight to the wife and say it. Oh, and so it's none of his business. He doesn't him, care. Him and say. <laughs> like he'll just accuse wife. that person. And he never gets punished. Okay. Oh yeah, and he's a drug addict. But he never, he never gets punished. You make these, like, you make these sound like amicable, um, like, desirable character traits. Oh, and he's, like, some sort of genius. <laughs> I like that's the last thing you had! That's the first I mean, like, he left. figures all these, like, crazy medical conditions that <laughs> no one else can figure out. All I'm saying is, you can become that. Just get a good lawyer and you will never face through. He's, like, a super doctor. He's a surgeon. He's a... He's a he's a, like, yeah, he's he goes all over the place. He's an asshole. He's, yeah. You have watched the show. Alright. Anyway, so we'll move on to the next topic as I'm getting very quick. And Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! was a fun sitcom. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say House and Yu Gi Oh! was the best sitcom you ever watched. That's because <laughs> you haven't watched the first season. The first season was a sitcom. There was a lot of comedy in it. Then they did something to the show, and they ruined all the comedy. They grew up, it. Arjun. They grew up. It was like it wasn't even a year. It was like weeks. Can you imagine if one day we met and then like you talk to me a few weeks later and I just stop making jokes? Jesus Christ! I might kill myself at that point. No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's weird, and that's why I couldn't watch anything past the first uh, season. Okay, okay. And it also helps that I I watch the first season in all three forms. Ah, I watched. watched it subbed. I watched it dubbed, and I watched it abridged. He watched it all. No, what the hell? Hard to tie. Uh, I didn't read the book though. Who has read the Yu-Gi-Oh book? No one. Like the manga. Okay. We're going to go to the next one. What is your... F sorry. What are your thoughts on the song where there's a whip, there's a way from the Hobbit movie? Christ damn it. <laughs> I like I See a Fire. Okay, thank you for giving, anyway, that's a joke giving your opinion on a completely unrelated song. Um, no, that's in the Hobbit. Fair enough. Work. What are your thoughts on where there's a whip, there's a way? From the Hobbit movie. Yeah, I thought comment. you were the musician of our group. You don't even know where songs come from. <laughs> where do songs come from, Arjun? Can you name five rappers off the yeah, top sure. of your head? Kanye West. Eminem. Kanye West is one person. You can't say Kanye. Kanye and West. <laughs> Kanye just... and West. By the way, he's called Yee now. Ye, he sorry. legally changed his name to Yee. Sorry. Um, Weird Al Yankovic. 
<laughs> when he was doing the rap parody. No, I don't count that. You don't count him? Really? He's not true ghetto gangster <laughs> rap. <laughs> okay. Um, Lil Deuce X. Plus, he, he's so irrelevant. <laughs> He was relevant like 10, 12 years ago. <laughs> oh, now he's like the decrepit skeleton in someone's closet. <laughs> Why do you hate everyone fun? Weird Al is I'm just, just, just a nice guy. And you're like, he's a skeleton in the closet. That's moldy. And I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. He's irrelevant. He was like, so Arden, popular if, and now he's... If... And he was so popular and now where is he? Like Arjun, what if I say, oh Arjun, meet meet back to Seamuson. He's the CEO of, of Crap, I just realized I haven't replugged in my iPad. Meet back to Jameson, he's the CEO of like Clean Corp. And then you go like, oh Baxter, your wife died last week, didn't she? And he's like, Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, right. I would do that. Why? You you think a dickhead for no reason. So he forgets. <laughs> so he doesn't forget This is the slowest the lobby has ever filled up. I said that he forgets that he doesn't forget. Don't you think it's sad for his wife to not be remembered? But he's so I will. I'm just leaving friendly reminders. It's not friendly though. It's just like me Baxter. You're like your wife died last week, didn't she? (laughs) If if I was unfriendly, I would say, "Hey, bro, where's your wife?" Oh, (laughs) all right. Sorry. You could be Sorry. A bit more, you could be a bit more tacked. You could say like. If it so makes you so feel better, right? mine's mine still. Right? Mine's in mine's the still, you could Mine's gone, still. Mine's still. You could there. have gone something a bit more. You know, more more sensitive. Hey, but at least you don't need to lose half your assets. Jesus Christ! You know, make it sound like they were gonna divorce anyway. Anyway, Arjun, you could be a bit more. You know, more sensitive. You go like. I'm Isn't that what happened with OJ? OJ isn't back to Jameson. Anyway, Arjun... No, but OJ didn't want to lose his money, right? <laughs> he killed his wife. I don't know. I don't follow that. I will say, the fact that he managed to get off on the fact that his glove doesn't fit is amazing. I think every lawyer wants to be like that. <laughs> didn't, didn't you tell <laughs> me that? Pull something that, like that. that lawyer I think that's Kim Kardashian's amazing. dad or something, right? You told me yeah. That. Yeah. It's all the Kardashian stuff. Would you would you really be happy if your child turns out to be Kim Kardashian in the Kardashians? Uh, when you're that rich, doesn't matter. I think it matters. You have human needs. Money can't suffice for everything. Why? What's wrong with that? Isn't she now uh, with Pete Davidson? <laughs> I don't play that who Pete Davidson is. Anyway. You don't know who Pete Davidson is. Tell the me, what is SNL Pete dude. Davidson? SNL. Arjun, no one cares about SNL. That is true, but he's still <laughs> relatively <laughs> popular. <laughs> you have you missed the entire thing that's been going on between Kanye West and uh, Pete <laughs> Davidson? That's amazing. Care. What rock have slipped. you been living <laughs> under? <laughs> yeah, I don't either. But this is just so hilarious. I can't <laughs> stop. Ah, uh, the comedy. It's it's li- it's hilarious. It's I mean, if I were to give a me. thing, if I were to give it. A quick summary: Kim Kardashian divorced um, Kanye West, and then um, dated Pete Davidson. <laughs> Kanye threatened him, and like he's trying to do anything he can to to get her back. <laughs> and yeah, it, it's it's just one shenanigan to another. Wait, Pete he Davidson, made songs about wait, him. Pete Davidson was Ariana Grande. He and his community Beyonce. refer to Pete now as Skeet. <laughs> he doesn't just get around. He, he was Ariana Grande, um, Beyonce. Bro, I don't get him. Okay, he's not that funny, and he's definitely not that good looking. Maybe, but he's like, maybe, Arjun, dated maybe, like Arjun. Maybe so many people. Maybe he's funny and good looking in private. Dude, no, he isn't funny and good looking. He's basically a drug addict. Every <laughs> time I look at him, he's no. a drug addict. I, God. He's been in rehab so many times. No, but Arjun, maybe it's he's, not maybe he's good looking and funny. Pull up, a, pull up a recent picture of him. Fine. And you tell me that isn't a drug addict. Fine. <laughs> he does not look like a drug addict. He does. No, he doesn't. I don't worry. It sounds like someone, something someone would repeat to themselves over and over. I'm not a drug addict. I'm not a drug addict. You feel like a normal guy, Arjun. You feel like a normal guy who doesn't get enough sleep. He's not a normal guy, bro. You feel like he doesn't get enough sleep. That's all. He's not a drug addict. He's a drug addict. He is a drug addict. That is that is proven. Fair enough. 
<laughs> next time I tell you Jackie Chan is, is the next Mao Zedong. Anyway, you're gonna move on. Oh, Jackie Chan, I, I found out, is hated by the people of Hong Kong. Because he's a fan of the Chinese Communist Party, oh. okay. You didn't die, yeah, but you? before all that, like in the 90s, before he was famous, yeah, he, he was a big it. Hong Kong... No, he was a big Hong Kong guy. Yeah. He protested for heaps yeah. of Hong Kong things. And he was the, their favorite celebrity. Basically, but then he yeah. pulled a 180... Oh, for fuck's sake, this isn't a... This is a <laughs> oh, dude, you would pull 180 if it gets you up high, wouldn't you? I would. I think... I, I honestly don't blame him. I can't Because remember. I feel like if he said no... They'd probably kill him or keep him they in won't prison. They will kill Chucky Chan. They'll just, they'll just make it... You don't it. know, bro. They they don't care anymore. No, they can't kill <laughs> Chucky Chan. Because it's what just... happened to the tennis star? Huh? The tennis star has been missing for so long. Forced into quietness. Anyway. Even with the world saying but, very but shit. The tennis star isn't Chucky Chan. No, but... I would say a significant amount of people. Like, there were... Not the same Like, countries Chan. and presidents. And so many people. Okay, you, I think I think a country. I think, I think a country. No, would, I think it is. I think a country would go. I don't think. Go. A, I don't think. Other than people, who's going to really care about Jackie Chan? <laughs> other than people, I don't know. Rubber robots and Takahashi's. What about those, Arjun? No, I mean like, I mean like just general people, like no fans of this world. No one wants the power ups. just no. Screw that. Okay, okay, we're gonna... Because the power-ups are useless in this game, that's what I really like. Yeah, I picked up a power-up, it was just a pumpkin on my head. (laughs) Good. So, we're gonna move on to the next topic that does not involve Jackie Chan or the Chinese Communist Party, because this is getting silly. Uh, The next topic here, hopefully Boy can contribute, is... Oh, I have a letter, it's actually a letter from His Excellency the Honourable, sorry, General the Honourable David Hurley, A.O. ESC, whatever the hell his other post nominals are. Who's that? Anyway, um, well, I'm not going to elaborate. He asked me, I'm starting a new YouTube channel relating to skating. How do I grow my channel? Okay, thanks. Skate. Let's just keep skating, bro. <laughs> oh no, oh no. You Use his already famous name and title. <laughs> you should just start skating, bro. I was what? eating. Christ, no eating. Oh no, wrong color. Um, but... But what, suppose, uh, no, he says he got 52 subscribers so far, and he oh. wants more. I think, you, I think you just need to put white glows in his thumbnails. Damn it, I forgot. Yes, that and me- issue a proclamation in the Gazette. Oh, that might be a bit cronyism, right? Oh. It might be a bit too political for the Governor General. Oh! Yeah, mate! That's not a cool internship. What is it? Oh, it's just me and the Skeke cast. Oh, but the chance of me getting it is close to impossible. It's the... The... What's it called? The the trade one. The trader The one. department of... The DFAT scholarship. Oh, that's cool. Austria, the one where they send you on exchange. Oh, that's like, do it! I'll, I'll for like you. half a year. I'll, I'll find I'm pretty sure it's like the top 10, though. In all of Australia that they pick. Yeah, but Arjun, half half Australia lives in Victoria and New South Wales. You're fine. But I'm like this, and and they they said you have to provide something to our company. So I feel like if I go, I'll be sent to India. Arjun, tell them that you are fluent in Hindi. That is the only cultural background I have, tell and like most of the places, right, don't get me wrong, aren't places I would want to go to study. No, I'll, I'll help you out, okay? You, I'll I don't you. want to go to Pakistan to study. <laughs> yeah. Christ, you don't that like Pakistan? Is, that, Christ. No, but I wouldn't go there to study. Okay, okay, that's fair, I guess. I would want to go to the US, but DFAT knows that the army, there's no they, way they, they can send people there. The US. No, um... Oh, but I did see a cool job recently. The <sighs> embassy, the US embassy was looking yeah. for a Consular agent. Christ. For their Sydney office. No, that makes sense. They're looking for a consul general. general. No, they're looking for a consul. Not general. It's like the consulate general. Though. You're like kind of a diplomat. You you no, go no, overseas knows what a and come back. Is. He knows what a consul is. He knows. He's being a dickhead for the fun of it. Cause it's fun. Um, no, I'm not. I was genuinely not explaining work. something. You're not work. I'm signed. <laughs> anyway, let's try again. I was yeah, I was just trying to trying help dying. people out, and he's uh, and he's calling me a I'm not calling you work. You're not work. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
Screw you, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna open up the booster boost. career hub. And now, and now see if there's a good internet. Bro, it's the most useless thing. I don't like the career hub website. But you don't the jobs use they it tell one, me are weirdo. jobs which are, you don't use it, you are so one. silly. Huh? No, but the, I'm pretty sure they're all the same. I, I think there's some differentiation. If not, why does my uni money go to this? And I love looking at the reviews. That's what I do. I look at the reviews for these small, like, paralegal people looking for paralegals. And they're, like, one star rated. Well, Arjun, only the <laughs> most... Like... Only the bitter people leave, leave reviews. You know that. Glenn. Yeah. But when you have, like, 20 one star reviews, I don't think that's just... Oh, wait, 20 one star reviews is, like, four or five star reviews. Oh no. Wait, you're still alive before you died? No, I didn't. No, yeah, Arjun. But you died. Oh. Isn't Arjun dead? No. That's offensive. Holy Christ. We've been going through so many games, I'm forgetting which game this is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have here the Usage Careers Hub, and I'm gonna pick out some jobs, and you guys, it's up to you to tell me how suitable I am for this. Okay, yep. Sydney Walking Tour Leader. Oh, very cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Arjun? I'm not going to comment further. William, let's go on exchange. Which country? No, let's all of us go to exchange. Which country? Where do you want to go? Where, where would you want to go? South Korea. But I don't know any universities in South Korea. Seoul. Capital city. Seoul University? Sure. I've got two power-ups now. You're a rich man. If you die, you die. They're both useless, they're both jump power. Found words. <laughs> Wait. Oh! Wait, I feel the silence I jump in past. your brain. We are all on the same island. With a friend. Light grey, which one's light grey? No, this is light grey! Oh, that one's it. Anyway. Let's try this one. Uh, there's so many internships that are just in China. And I have no idea how. how I got some. I got a that. cow. What was that? My first power up, and I got some. No, it turns cow. that area into an area you can stand on. Oh, I didn't know that. I ran away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew that I would have gone to it. I still think it's grossly irresponsible for me to become a tutor, given I don't have good study practices. Oh, no. There's no way I was going to make it. I was in the middle. Who else is. Oh. That, I, I died. But I was. I thought I was the only one left. What oh. else? There, there was some other cool things. Oh, that um, in. Christ. The digital cadetship I thought was pretty cool. Again, if you don't know, the ACCC and the Australian Energy Regulator are currently hiring for graduates. If you're graduating this year or. We should join the cadetship, and that's not even a joke, William. We didn't want us to wear, we're old. <laughs> Although that would mean we would have to move. But they would pay for I'll us move. to move. I'll move to Canberra. Screw it. I will. I'll happily do that. Exactly. But we're and old if you now. Come and we don't, make we're not it... young. We're not. You know. We're not inspirational. We don't have. We don't have dedication anymore. We don't have. And if you make it and I make it, I at least have someone to split rent. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay Why, for where it. Where are you running? Holy crap! I'm flung there. myself out of the map. There's nothing there. Oh my goodness! Oh. I need to send you that clip. But, uh, hey. Cool. No more? Yeah. Okay, sure. It's two days of work only, too, which I thought that was cool. So I have another gig job thing. Two days of work and they pay for your fees. <sighs> but oh, one, William, like... have you left? Oh, yeah, I left. Wait, are we doing one more? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, I think I'm going to quit. I think I'm going to yeah, quit. Yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, let, are we... Wait, are we going to do the outro or are we going to continue on for a little bit? No, I'm staying. Good. I, just I have here play. a next topic then. It is called University of Sydney's Career Hub. I was, I was also tempted to put up a, an, uh, an application for you as a Fulbright Scholar. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, good. Hey, if you got a call, that would have been all thanks to me. I would have not answered it. You should. It's cool. That's how like Philip Lowe probably made it to MIT. Uh, so t okay, hold on. There's two things I need to apply for, and that's a that's bloody bursaries because I can see them. Uh, 
Arjun, how much does McCoy University support you in your studies? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, do you mean, have I got any grants or scholarships? No. Okay. Have they been mildly supportive? Like, they're like, you can do it, brother. What are you talking about? In respect to what? Like, money? Like, did you ever feel like, oh, no, Leave. I can't do it? Like, did you ever feel like, oh, well, so, oh, no, we know you can do this course. We know you can. Yeah, but they do that so that I can get into more debt. Yeah, that's fair, but that's supportive. But they don't want to help me. They just want more money. That's fair income, but... And that's the a... day I hit the cap is the day they'll kick me out. <laughs> no, the day you graduate, the day they kick you out. I think the cap is massive, just speaking. It's like a hundred grand. Good. Which, for medicine, is useless, but for every other degree. Good. That's massive. All right, and JD. Aren't you going to get your JD? Why? To, to flex on other lawyers who have experience. It wouldn't give me anything. When it entitle you to basically a little bit higher pay? No. It's the same rights. Really? They pay the same for yeah. a, a graduate as a person with JD. Yeah, it's the same thing. The only reason people do JD is because they couldn't do an LLB. I did not know that. So that, because you can't practice law with an LLM. It's like doing a graduate engineering degree. doesn't mean you're an engineer. You have to be, like, do you, what he said, read in by the court. And that only happens with an LLB or a JD. But holy. A JD? How long do you <laughs> But do? LLB is sponsored by the government. So even if I were to do an LLB, which is three years at fourteen grand. It only comes to Don't like. Think about the grand. 30. Your your income power, the amount of income you'll get after. Yeah, but that's late stage year. income. Yeah, but that's fair. And late stage income is always mate, worse than mate, early you'll be stage thirty income. years old, and you'll be like, "I was an idiot, worried about debt when I was 20. No. Yes. That's how it works. See, it's fine if you have a great. As long as you have an above average starting at your young age, then it's fine because you can save. But if you have below average for what should be a uni graduate, it's not helpful. Because the best time to buy property and do investments is in your 20s. No, it's when you're young. No, it's in your 20s. You By the time you're in your 30s, it's like families, it's all issues. No, no, you should do it when you're five years old. And that way it will accumulate so much wealth in the end. I said, lawyers are rich at the end. That's Just fine. like engineers. Engineers are idiots, though. That's and they're engineers are rich from the beginning. No, they all get rich at the end. If you want a job that pays crazy at the beginning, do stockbroking. Or medicine. Isn't there a high suicide rate with both? No. Uh... I was speaking. Of... I was going to say speaking. Of okay, that, I always find that like stupid. What job doesn't? Isn't doesn't have like a cohort that's depressed. Uh, I think it's miserable that they do it. People who, they don't people have... who work on the jumping castles. That's not average. the issue. The, the issue is you know you gotta talk to people. You gotta have friends. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. You gotta go out. No, you don't. If Arjun, your life revolves Arjun, around Jack work, Mark, then, yeah. not get rich by having friends and going out. He got rich because he did the grind. So what? <laughs> so what? Okay. You can have friends and do the grind. Yeah, friends take time. Friends Are you guys continue. aware of the plane crash? No, I have friends at uni. Days. I'm doing yeah. a certain Do you amount know? of workload. It's fine. Yeah, but you're not making billions, are you? Yeah, but see, I'm doing it for less than they are, and I'm not depressed. Okay. Did you, did you know ready? how fast the plane was going when it crashed? Into the ground. Per hour. I don't know. I'm just okay. cynical. Cynical and depressed. Wait, was that a guess? That was a guess. 532. Yeah, five, 566. Oh, dang it. When it hit the ground. Good. Because of, I was because... looking at how much it costs to do, like, become a doctor in the, sorry, in the Air Force. And it's crazy, bro. Isn't it cheap? No, it isn't. What? Like, like, towards the end. No, because I was thinking, I was look, going through the pay scales, and, like, one of them, I think it's the max, probably after like 15 years, yeah. or probably 20 years of service. They pay you $399,000. Okay. But 
think about the super. That's seventeen percent super with that. Yeah, sure. And I calculate that, and that's seventy grand a year in super. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything after that. The right exactly. most column is say, vertical crazy. speed, and it's measured in feet per minute. Nice. I'm going to wait. Give me a second. I'm, I'm just going to talk, 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 talk. So By the way, they are looking for a pilot. They're always looking for pilots. The Air Force and Army and Navy. They're always looking for pilots. I was looking, how do you become an astronaut? And they said, become a pilot first. Not necessarily. You can be one of those scientist astronauts. Yeah, but that's only for Americans, Russians, Japanese, and Europeans. And Europeans not Australians. I'm pretty sure Australia... I, apparently, there hasn't been... Like an Australian astronaut in like 50, 70 years. Good. There's like only been one. Good. If private astronauts. That sucks. Shouldn't have been. Australia just doesn't invest in space. We just don't. Sunda doesn't. Yeah, that sucks. No, no. However, your national. Bro, Australia is behind on everything when it comes to technology. Ah, uh, well. It used to be. Yeah, yeah. N- okay, yeah. name one thing. That Australia is ahead in technology. Financial financial banking system compared to the US, you know, um, cashless, being a cashless sort of society, basically. I wouldn't say that. No, that's ahead. Do you know the, how slow the US banking system would be comp- um, in processing payments? Australia is just with the rest of the world, basically. It's not faster than the world. It is at the world. Yeah, but that isn't the best thing, then. That's a fair point. Fair point. That's average. Yeah, but okay, fair point. So, uh, so there is nothing, is what you no, think. No, no. I no, knew no. financial, and I thought it was the best, but now you've shown me that it's not the best. It's average. Oh, it's better than the US, and the US is a bit good. Oh my god, no, Australia is just. Don't get me wrong; country. it's a great not, place to live. I think, I think, country. I think there are great things. We're a mining in and services country. Mainly services, by the way, mining exports for services economy. Like, spot on. I think the fact that we have a high minimum wage is great. That, yeah, it's cool. Look, I think that it would be depressing knowing that a company could pay me five dollars an hour, and that would be legal. Well, they can do it under the table if you want them to. Yeah, but they'd get in trouble, so that's fine. Oh, mate, mate. Oh, yeah, the Air Force was also looking for musicians. That makes sense as well. Military always have military bands. Yeah, but I was thinking 70 grand to be paid an instrument. That's I mean, cool paid though. to play an instrument. I'm still impressed that I think the highest pay for a private, you know, lowest rank is 90k. But no one stays with a private for 20 years. Except some people. Just doing them. Maybe in the reserves, maybe. I think... Isn't the Treasury the highest paid government? Australia Post is technically the highest paid. No, uh, not not the people. Oh, yeah, the weren't they handing out Rolexes to each other? Not that. Like I mean, rap. like, the CEO of, the managing director, sorry, of Australia Post, he resigned because he was, he was, he was remunerated so much. Because they're not remunerated by the remuneration tribunal. They're, do, they're done by the company, I think, or by the board. So, so they 1.4 million. Wow. So that's a that's, that's crazy. That's not the average public servant. I don't even call him a public servant. I mean company. That's crazy, bro. That's that's Yeah, but there can only be one man you can direct at a time. Yeah, but still that's crazy. Like that's like four times what the Prime Minister earns. Yeah. You know, occasionally Can you, you imagine that the <laughs> It's owned by the government of Australia, <laughs> but, oh man, that's hilarious. Anyway, so occasionally you might see this populist, um, like stupid suggestion that... Um, Actually, you know what? The chief magistrate is probably the highest governmental position. Really? The chief magistrate? Not the chief judge? I... Not the chief justice? The chief magistrate. The chief magistrate. No, the chief magistrate of the local court. You really think they are paid the most? Yeah. Even I don't even know the current chief. Oh yeah, it's Johnston, Johnstone, 
John Stendeden. Hold it up, Telstra Health graduate. I think program. becoming the state coroner is the coolest. That show. is cool. I agree. I agree. Like, I mean, there's not really much pressure. No, you don't do the investigating, though. What the information is just shown to you, and you say yeah. you don't even need to know medicine. There'll be a doctor who says everything. Yeah. You just need to say yes or no. <laughs> it's a boring but cool job. I thought you need good connections now. Uh, oh my god. There's an Abdul Karim. I didn't know we had a non white magistrate. Arjun, this is 2023, mate. I'm not I, kidding. I, I honestly thought. Wow. That's a new. There's Imad Abdul Karim. That's crazy. Why don't you just go connect him on LinkedIn and say, I, I would like to talk to you for, for about five minutes, please. Could that not work? Let's see what he did. He did the HSC in 1988. He studied science in Wollongong. That's cool. Uh, then he, after that, he worked at bars and drove cabs. Wait. And then, uh, wait, what, what was that? He worked at bars and drove cabs, taxis. Oh, that's cool. And then Western Sydney University was establishing a law school. Nice. And he went and did it in 1995. He seems like someone who worked hard throughout his whole life. Yeah. Him. Then Wikipedia is using their white on the side when you search Valley Wood General. He's an immigrant. He's a first generation. No, but he's immigrant. like the ideal immigrant. Someone who comes to the country, works really hard, end up in a top position. It's the recalls the He did like basically yeah. the American dream, but law. He joined the Crown Solicitor's Office. And then the Commonwealth Director of Public Prosecutions. You still think those who are scum, don't you? No. I was just saying how typical, I was thinking how typical, it's obviously someone who went through these two places that became a judge. But it was hard getting to those two places in the first place, though. He went to the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom as a Churchill Fellow. He was invited as an expert to the UN to talk about terrorism, drugs, and crime. That's cool. And then in 2017, he was appointed a magistrate. That's cool. I think it's sad that he's only been put to a magistrate position now. No, no, no. Yeah, like, Bro, I'm yeah. not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm pretty sure there are judges above him which have done less than That's he That's correct. Has. But you're treating magistrates like it's this junior entry-level thing. It's I'm not. not. I'm not. I'm just saying that I feel like there are barriers against him. Like, why is he... L- not law. It's like... It is a high you, you position, think he, but why think, is he not higher? You think he's as qualified as someone on the Supreme Court? I think he's more qualified right. than people above him. Right. You know what? I would honestly rather this guy be in that uh, position rather than that dude who just went to Cambridge and wrote a bunch of things. You really want him on the High Court of Australia instead of the 40 to 50 year old? I mean, I'm not saying he's the best, but I'm saying I would definitely prefer this guy's experience over that guy. I don't know, that, that, that guy I... studied at a, uh, at a place for like, I mean, worked for like a couple of years, then went to Cambridge and wrote things. That Martin, he's a thinker. He uses his brain every second. Before. Yeah, but when it comes to law, it's basically experience. Well, not for High Court, it isn't. It's about making decisions. Yeah, which is based on experience. And he has sufficient experience. That's why you're put at such a high level. Screw you. Because you embody a certain Don't path have... of have... the law. Get the philosophy in here. It's not philosophy. That's what each judge on uh, you know the high court they handle a certain case based yep. on how it's put in. Yep. And that's due to experience, not how many papers you've written. Do you think you can get experience know. from the papers you've written? I don't think it's as meaningful as actually being out there, but I guess. Why do you tackle hard constitutional questions that cannot be answered working? 
I think that's low-hanging fruit. <laughs> what if you attack low-hanging fruit, but you do it very well? So what? I think it's, I think it's a low-hanging fruit. I'd much rather respect someone like this. Although I don't know the guy personally, he could be an absolute <laughs> asshole. That that could be true. Maybe a stolen valor. I'm just saying I respect the grind. It's good to respect the guy. Yeah, sure. I have a good note. I partner's looking for a legal intern three days a week. No. No. But you get to work with the legal. Not counsel, even right? that. It's leeway. Some people don't give leeway. Fair enough. There's they a expect you to. Program. That's why you gotta work a government job. Government job makes it hard for you to move up, but no one tells you. I don't anything. think it's too hard if you give it a few years. It takes time. No, it's really hard. It is not hard. Yeah. It's really hard. I don't think it's hard. Have you worked in the government? For one day, yes. The council office is a different thing. That wasn't the council that I was staying. Oof. So whatever. I, Didn't I, they pay you like $150 for a day? Christ, I won't elaborate. But uh, anyway, Arjun, general physiotherapist. Okay. This magistrate was in the army for 16 years. I think that's cheating. Or right, he's just in military law. He's just been in military that's why law. I think he's for cheating. Ages. He joined a judge. He became like a judge advocate or whatever. This is one of the magistrates, Antrim. Let's see, are there any other non-whites? Christ. Ferrari's I'm just saying it as it is. It is a fact. Sure. It is a fact. Sure. And you know it. Sure. That the entire justice system is underrepresented when it comes to Minorities. There's been women representation, though, especially at the junior level. So, yeah, I that took, guess that took that's like good. That's like 30 years of, of effort. I think that's good, but like, you know. What do you need? Just now like there's so years. many. Well, Australia is so multicultural. Yeah, but, yeah you're and right. And to think yeah. that you don't have that many people. It's why I'm going to be the first... Who thing. understand their sovereign... Even Aboriginal. I think they're the most... They are quite underrepresented, yeah. I think they... The, they created a whole Aboriginal court for them. They didn't even create positions for them. That sucks. Yeah. Look, it, look, I feel like... It's this generation, right? We have a lot of white people who won't be leaving Australia for better jobs. Uh, like, they'll stay here. And they're bright. Bro, uh, the brain drain is crazy. Everyone's going to US or UK. Good on them. Screw them. I'll be staying here. They get paid crazy. Nice. Yeah, no. They all look white. They all sound white. I haven't found anything which sounds. I yeah, fair enough. I I one just... person. I one person. Think, give it some time. Give it some time. One person out of like this list of thirty. Yep. And this is New uh, South Wales. It's not this is New South Wales. Or, or yeah. It's Australia. I don't know, man. It's just messed up. I think this. These things don't. You know, these things take a lot of time to change. Right. Right. Maybe in thirty years' time, the. High Court justice will come from a I don't know maybe his dad will be Chinese his his mother will be from Nepal or something. And I he hope. Proud Australian. Good on him. I hope. You hope. By the way, I got an ad from the Law Society today. That's cool. On YouTube. Oh, on YouTube. I, I thought I, they, YouTube finally thinks that I'm a lawyer. I, I thought you meant the Law Society directly contacted you and put you on like a mailing list. No. I got an ad for it on YouTube. Christ, at least it's not a UAP ad. Oh, I did get that too. Christ. I'm telling you, that jingle is catchy. But the jingle's catchy. Have you heard I the have, jingle? I haven't seen the UAP ads on TV in a few days. I don't know about YouTube. Oh, if you go out, like, uh, near Silverwater, Auburn area, there are a bunch of billboard posters. Have, have they been, been vandalized? Damn it. 
One has been. There's oh. one which I've seen which has been vandalized. How did they vandalize private property? They got... You know how it's like, don't trust the liberals, don't trust, yeah. you know, thing? Yeah. Like, yeah. they've basically uh, spray-painted a line through it and just wrote racism all over it. Okay. <laughs> but not writing racist stuff. They, 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 they accuse... No, they people. wrote racism, the word. Yeah, okay. Over and over on, on the poster. And then there's a billboard people can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, no, th- this is like you know how like there's the walk the car driveways on the bridge, and then they tie sure. the posters. Sure. Yeah. Off the bridge. That's what they did. Nice. Where did people get the? Not gonna thing? lie, the first time I saw it, I thought they purposefully did it. You, you keep believing that. I. Like what? What is Clive Palmer trying to get out of all of this? He knows he's not going to become prime minister. He knows. Wait, he... let's watch the Clive Palmer jingle. I refuse. The me. UA. Refuse. Come on. No. UAP jingle. Well, let's listen to it. I don't trust you. I still want to apply for a government graduate job, but I'm guaranteed with you, I should stay for one more year in uni. Wait, 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 what is this at? Where are the Baron Joey? Hey, boy, what, do you, what are your thoughts on UAP ads and how they have um, turned my brain into mush? They... The... But I, they're not, I don't think they're being entirely truthful when they're at. Okay. Are you telling me, are you telling me there is no zero jobs with zero emissions, thanks to Nats? I don't know, some of our microchip, Chinese toilets and planting microchips no, in your hand when you take too much to Yeah, it yeah, is. Silly. Silly. <laughs> it throws me off that you have like Facebook deleting this ad and that ad and YouTube just saying, yeah, no, we'll just play this one. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Is that a bad thing or is that a good thing? I'm not gonna say anything. Good night. Honest government ad made a video on UAP. Was that as good as the rest of their content? Nah. I feel like UAP is just now like just such a low hanging fruit. No, I no. feel like if you make fun of it, it's not yeah, funny it's so because easy. anything she would she says, I've already thought about it in my Three head. Does times. that make sense? Like every time I see an ad, I'm always thinking this stuff. Yeah. So it's not funny to me. It's like yeah. you're just saying things I already know. So you're asking just for a little bit more creativity. No, it's not her fault. I've just seen that ugly guy's face so many times. And... You know what throws me off though? The fact that the first ads were focused on Craig Kelly, but now Clive Palmer's putting himself in the spotlight. And it's like, you know what? We've been talking about robots and everything, but when the hell did bionic limbs sneak up on us? And I was like, you know, that's so true. I swear they popped out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere, these cool metal arms I'm more and metal legs. legs. Yeah, the legs are what I'm impressed with. Arms, arms are boring. <laughs> No, like, but actual legs, not the weird Kelly Slater legs. Those are cool. Have you seen? They're not cool. I don't know what cool is. They look stupid. I'm going to say it. (laughs) Even if it means I'm teasing a paraplegic. Uh Is he a para? Are you considered a paraplegic if you don't have legs, but you have those things? I don't know. I guess so. Wait, hold on. I think. Uh, I'm not going to comment, no. Because paraplegic means you can't move your bottom half, right? Well, it could also be you're missing arms or something, right? So you can't move the wheelchair. Uh, let's, let's find out definition of paraplegic. Anyway, for the past 30 minutes, there's this guy standing at the edge of my room, tapping on his watch, telling us to, to finish, finish this podcast episode. So, <laughs> well, have, have we run over time? We have ran over time by one hour, so uh, Whoa. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna yeah. do the outro. No, so Nick we answered, is hitting me, and I'm sleepy. We answered our three questions. 
Good job. Um, Arjun, where can we find you? <laughs> I like this flavor. This flavor is nice. Raspberry Rose. Raspberry Rum. Okay, we can find Arjun. Raspberry in the Rose Seltzer. We can find Arjun. Have you had Seltzer? No, haven't. No. It's glorified oh, Arjun, alcohol. You're right. it, it is basically just no impairment in the lower body. So like spinal cord yeah. or congenital. So I guess having no legs wouldn't count. No. Okay, then I just made fun of a disabled person. That's, uh, all. Uh, that's even better. Oh. <laughs> no, it would have been worse if it was a paraplegic. Okay. Uh, disabled means you can still walk. That's fine. And people who can walk are the easiest targets. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, uh, well, for a sniper, a paraplegic person. No, anyway, uh, where can we find you? On Earth. On Earth. <laughs> I'm not going to ask for your Latin long. I'm pretty sure those are private. So, yeah. Where can we find me? You can find me in Olympia, whichever... Which, the, that, you're thinking about the one in Washington. You're wrong. It's the other one. Um, if you want to know where the other one is, not where you're thinking it is. The other, other one. Thanks, motorbike. Uh, <laughs> next week, we'll be discussing... Wait, what were we discussing? Oh, we'll be discussing whether or not the color blue should be renamed Mussolini Juice. Have a good day, kids. <laughs> Wait, I was nearly hang up. I should have ended the recording, not hang up. <laughs>